Vanity metrics don't give you the insight you need to make good marketing decisions, leading you to pour resources into things that don't matter for your business. It's better to pick a small set of meaningful numbers for any channel you work on and tie them to your overall revenue goals. Hi, I'm Kelly from the International Institute of Digital Marketing. Here are five marketing metrics you should consider tracking. One is revenue growth. Revenue growth is the difference between two revenue numbers, for example, before and after a marketing campaign. Two is customer acquisition cost or CAC. CAC is the dollar amount it takes your business to acquire a customer. The lower the number, the better. It's primarily used in relation to other metrics like lifetime value to work out how much you can afford to acquire additional customers in the future. 3. is Conversions A conversion happens when a visitor to your website completes an action that you are tracking. Examples include sign-ups, demo bookings and purchases. Tracking conversions allows you to see where customers are completing key actions in their customer journey. 4. is Share of Voice or SOV Share of Voice tells you how visible you are compared to competitors. Market share and share of voice are closely tied to one another. If you've got a 20% share of voice, you're likely to have a similar market share. If your share of voice is above your market share relative to your competitors, you have an excess share of voice or ESOV. In the long term, your market share will likely catch up with your share of voice. That means SOV can be an indicator of future growth. 5. Is Return on Investment or ROI ROI is a measure of the impact a campaign or channel had on the revenue of the business. For more information, visit www.iidm.world.